Pittsburgh motorcycle lift since I've been doing a lot of work on motorcycles and uh, I haven't really been able to use it because I've been going through the recovery with my surgery and everything but now I'm finally getting to put it to use so I'll do a review on that coming soon What's going on, like your subscribers and everyday vibers? It's your boy T Rev, and today I'm actually gonna start on a project that I'm doing for a friend. Uh, she hasn't ridden her motorcycle in six years, so it's just been sitting in the garage. So I'm gonna go through a whole bunch of changes, switch out the tires, drain the brakes, check the brakes, see if the brakes need to be redone. Uh, I already did a brake and throttle adjustment because she had a little bit of sticking in her throttle. Uh, I popped off the air cover, as you can see there, to make sure that the butterfly valve was opening and closing perfectly. So that's good. I'll probably take that off and do a carb clean on that bad boy as well. Uh, oil change, of course. I mean, you can see, look at that. So it's been sitting here for a while, but pretty dope, pretty dope paint job on the iron. It's an 883, 2009. She's got the forward controls on this bad boy. See, there's a little bit of a leak as well from the brake reservoir. So I'm gonna bleed those, get some new brake fluid in there, make sure everything's tightened on real good. Uh, but I've been ordering a ton of stuff for the project to get it going, get her back on the road, get it cranked up. Another thing I did notice, which I already bought the majority of the stuff for it too. She has a ton of corrosion on the motherboard for her bike. So I'm gonna clean that off, get an air compressor, blast it all out, change out all these fuses. They're 15s, so I'll switch out all these. I already got the ones from Harley for the system and the starter relay. Honestly, I think that's why the bike wouldn't crank up. Then I gotta clean out the tank because the tank has old gas in it. Take that off, clean that out, get some new gas put in that bad boy. And then after I get all this done, Fingers crossed, it's pretty dope. But fingers crossed we'll get this bad boy cranked up, get her back on the road. So let's get to it. Before I started, I wanted to show you guys something. Big shout out to Sabrina, my beautiful fiance. For my birthday, she got me this uh, Pittsburgh motorcycle lift since I've been doing a lot of work on motorcycles and uh, I haven't really been able to use it because I've been going through the recovery with my surgery and everything. But now I'm finally getting to put it to use. So I'll do a review on that coming soon. But just wanted to let you guys know, Pittsburgh motorcycle lift. It is uh, the 1500 pound capacity and she got it at Harbor Freight, I believe. It was like hundred something bucks, so not bad at all. I know it's got my dirty ass hands on it, but it's all I can sneak out. Taco and a piece of calabaza. Enjoy it. Yeah. Try to make it quick so they can see. <laughs> So, got my 20W50 K&N uh, oil filter, my oil drain pan, 
I am going to pop the old one off. Oil bung is right at the bottom. On these ones, you can see it sticking out right there. It looks like a little nipple. And I've already done a video on this, which is just open this up so air can flow through, pop out that oil bung, and drain out the oil. Twist off your old filter, put the new filter on, put the new oil in the bike. It's gonna go a little bit slower this time because her bike hasn't been started in six years. Uh, the last time I did it, I ran my bike a little bit before to keep the oil warm so that it drained a lot faster, but it's all good. I'm going to get it cranked up, uh, start that process of draining the oil, and I think I am going to install the new battery. I'm trying to find a compressed air can, that one somewhere in here, so I can spray out that motherboard, get those fuses switched out, and then... Uh, I'm gonna start with that carb clean as well. Give it a little couple pumps. Okay, so I'll put those down. I'm gonna lower it a little bit. Boom, so it locks in the position on both sides. And she's off the ground. So there's a little, uh, you need a flathead to untighten this this tube it's got a tube clamp on it so you untighten that and then you just pop this oil bung out i'm hoping that this this will pour straight down into there and not shoot all over the fucking place right here can you even see it didn't take much to loosen it couple twists this should be good and then oh pray for me god damn Long ass oil pump. There it goes. Boom. Perfect. Oh. Get your last in there. My fiance kills me. We have to take off the oil filter. Don't be a dummy. Get you something to uh, run off that excess oil. Unless you want everything right underneath that oil filter to be covered in oil. I just bend this and I'm going to slide it in right under the oil filter. Uh, tweak the oil filter off and then the excess run oil is just gonna run straight down this unless you're just okay with a mess handle your business all right so it should look something like that literally just something right underneath the filter so that the oil can run off it honestly might with forward controls get on there a little bit I'm hoping it falls right in front of there um, but you guys know how much I love taking these off from my old video so I got the trusty dusties right here channel locks Honestly, there's a whole tool for this to get this off, but uh, we're not going to be using the old filter, so I'm just going to grab it. Holy shit, guys. So it has never in the world ever come off this easy, but check it out. Look at that. That is love right there. So let's already untighten. I'm going to fasten that in there. Twist this bad boy off. Shouldn't be too much runoff, but yeah, there you go. Literally right underneath there, catches all the oil. Oil spilling off right now, once that's done, I'll put the new oil filter on, run the new oil in the other side, tighten up the bung in the bottom. New oil filter, she wanted to keep it as black as possible, so I got it. Just rub it around the inside. And you don't actually crank these down. The suction will actually tighten it itself. That little nipple is honestly for when you're removing it so you can take it off a lot easier come over with the 20w50 and get her topped off yo do not forget to put your oil bung in before you start filling it up with oil yep all right so that's gonna do it for part one uh stay tuned for the rest of the stuff that i'm gonna be doing to the bike I went through and uh, I did a couple more things that I didn't get on camera, but I will uh, explain what I did to get the bikes actually turn on. Had some electrical issues going, um, but make sure to like, share, subscribe. If you have any questions, please do ask. Uh, if I don't know, I'll find out for you. We'll find it out together. And until the next one, guys, peace. It's not a game. It's a red stick.